which creates harmful waste during production. It is a non-biodegradable substance, which means it can harm the environment. And therefore, from May 2016, our parish declared the church campus a non-plastic zone. We replaced plastic glasses and plates with steel cups and plates so that they could be reused. All parishioners were encouraged to decrease the use of plastic and many such initiatives were made. But that's not all. In April of 2016, our parish became innovative in its initiatives. We started recycling tetra packs to make various objects. So far, our parish has been able to recycle a mind whopping 23,000 tetra packs, of which we made a rocking chair, a bench, a tetra pack dustbin, and there are many more on the way. But that's not it. In 2016, our parish took yet another innovative step towards a greener future. As we know, any parish uses lots of water to go about their daily work routines. And to deal with this, our parish built a series of canals to collect rainwater, which flows into a pit filled with bricks, charcoal, stones, sand, etc., filtering the water for future use. In our city, the electricity is generated by thermal power, which involves burning of lots of coal, therefore creating lots of pollution and hence putting the green at risk. Our parish did not set back in dealing with this problem. By replacing no Okay, so let's take a walk through to what we have here. Okay, then we have this species. From what I have heard, it's the smaller one, LIG if you please. And they're quite bunched up, so you get a good density in this. Lots of quantity. This is a variety of chiku called tennis ball. It's the roundish kind of chikus which are very delicious. There's another kind that we have, it's called the Kali Pate. It's the ovalish kind of chikus. Okay, so let's go check some saplings out. Okay, so here we have litchi saplings which I'm eagerly waiting to grow because I'll really love that fruit. Here we have a spicy variety of ginger. Okay, so here we have subari or beetle nut if you please which is used for making pan. We have some beautiful turmeric with us. This is sardar gaur which is red color from inside and it has a little lesser seeds than your regular gaur. This is the papaya plant and well, if you look up to the leaves, these ones are especially good at treating dengue. Another short plant so that easy accessible leaves obviously. Okay, so here we have a little coconut tree in its infant stage. It's going to take a few years before it's on. Here we have a suran or elephant foot if you, as you know it. And we have... Very very beautiful looking pineapple. So here we have some beautiful spicy chilies. Okay, so here we have the ajwan plant. 
it's useful for many things such as medicinal you know you could get a wound and you could put it on your wound and it would heal it's also used in a lot of food items for enhanced taste this is my favorite the drumstick Maria let's move on top a little more and right there the drum drumstick tree Okay, so now we have the aloe vera. It has many medicinal purposes. Generally, we scrape the leaf out and get the gel from so inside. So we have the infamous neem tree. It has many medicinal purposes, including for chicken pox, a little cold and cough, and many more. These are black pepper creepers that we grow over here. So this is the insulin plant. It's used to make insulin that helps diabetic patients. We have our compost system which is used to give fertilizers for all the plants that we have over there. Let me give you a look. Okay, so here is all the wet waste that we generate from this parish. Sometimes a few parishioners come and put their wet waste over here. And so we add a little water. We, this thing is, you can turn it. So we keep turning it upside down again and again. By the metro from Andheri to Ghat Cooper, you will see lots of buildings, the latest buildings, glass buildings, architectural designs. But very rarely will you find a place like Goli Family Church, situated on a hill, space in front of it, trees, greenery, something that you will never find in Bombay. Keep this whole creation of God alive and the beauty of God alive. The Holy Family parishioners work towards it. We even don't use too many flowers on our altars because we believe that flowers are supposed to be on trees and the beauty of the tree has to be kept. And so our parishioners have brought plants specially grown by them and that is kept at our altar. Uh, we have also introduced, it is gradually getting into place, shroud berry. We are trying to convince our parishioners not to use wood for burial, making coffins of wood, but to use the simple cloth in which Jesus also was buried and we lower that cloth into the grave. With respect, with dignity, but the body is wrapped in a white cotton cloth and uh, put into the grave. That's another form of our contribution to nature. Many other exciting projects in life. Moment, the beauty of Holy Family remains on its line from Andheri to Ghana.